Hello, and hey there, everybody. What's going on, and how are you doing out there? And hey to the chat here on Twitch. Take time to shout out thanks to all my subscribers and followers. And if you are new to my channel, new viewer, welcome to my layer. And this is Dirty Gamer here, and we're going to be doing a, a Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 Mega News, Notes, Rewards, Quests, and Battle Pass Overview Review Rundown. Show your support, liking up, thumbs up, sharing my videos, just takes a fun click, all about my content to be seen, have those bell notifications turned on, all is appreciated. For those new to my channel and viewers, subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Twitch, both are free. Appreciate you all very much for doing this. Alright, so we're going to go through all the news, notes, and all that stuff that happened for this Chapter 4 Season 2 Mega. So, as you can see here, I do have the news pulled up here on the screen. So, we're going to start in the date order. Uh, so, the first thing was Chapter 4 Season 2 started on March 10th. Uh, so, that's basically almost three, three months ago. Uh, so, as you can see here, uh, it, it introduced grind rails to swerve. Uh, Steaming Springs, Drift Ridge, the Kenjutsu Crossing, uh, the Victory Crown Rogue, that Nitro Drifter, both really fast vehicles. And then uh, the Kinetic Blade, curiously, was only in for a little while. Then they took it out because there was a glitch, which is kind of a downer there. This Havoc Suppressed Assault Rifle really was a really good weapon, and I hope they keep it. I actually like it a lot. I find even the basic or common weapon pretty effective. It actually helped me get a crown win yesterday. Uh, the Havoc Pump Shotgun. The Overclock Pulse Rifle, I'm not a fan of it, but it was a Mythic, so people really like using it. Heavy Sniper Rifle, not a fan. Of course, the Cobra DMR I do like, but sometimes, but it felt like more miss than hit for me. But I would like it more than I hate it. Uh, the Dragon's Breath Sniper, I don't remember seeing that actually at all. Uh, combat shotgun and those heisted exotics obviously uh, also help if you got that exotic grab bag perk. Uh, okay, and then you just carried over just your basic stuff here: shotgun, rifle, SMG, tactical pistol, stuff like that. Seems like the tactical pistol was not as good as I thought it was. So for for some reason this season they kind of nerfed it. Uh, yeah, that, this legendary slurp juice is really, was really good. Very prime if you can get that. Uh, basically off those, those caches and of course the vaults. And then the augments, pretty much the same. Um, slap surplus helps you kind of get those slaps if you need help. The munition slides I find really effective to try and get some ammo when you can't find any. Uh... We didn't really use Dignified Finish that much. And then, Returning Reality Augments. Uh, Bloodhound is okay. And Keymaster to help unlock those vaults. And that's kind of what it looked like there, that little view. And then the biome. See there. So just some screenshots of what it was here. Uh, yeah, and they snowballed more wolf pros and frogs obviously were vaulted. And uh, nothing much here. Now in terms of the battle pass outfits, do a little preview of that here. Uh, Renzo Destroyer, which was like what you can get like once you bought the battle pass, I felt was actually one of the better, if not the best, battle pass outfit. And the fact that you were able to get them early is definitely something that Epic Games and the team should take note of. 
because people really want the best stuff as soon as possible for them so they can like sport it and rock it in game um thunder was okay too i do like that thunder character stray was decent too high wires okay um so yeah basically four is what i prefer of that past what i thought were decent ones and then for the Aaron Jaeger, obviously that came out to be an unlockable reward. We'll get to that later. And Storm Surge values. Just gonna skip that. Nothing really I sticks out to me from there. And you just had some videos, just some more screenshots. Alright. So we're gonna move on to the next thing here. So, in terms of the next news that was available, there's like more here. So, after the intro of Mega, so uh, the th on April 13th, oops, excuse me there, don't want to jump too far, I would have jumped a little bit too far there. Okay, here we go. So, after Fortnite Mega was introduced, uh, okay, on March 16th, Leon Kennedy and Clary, uh, Claire Redfield came in. So you can see here, uh, they were in the item shop for a brief time there, and I did re do recommend getting it. Um, although compared to the original uh, Resident Evil like duo that was released, they weren't. They it seemed like they were kind of lacking. So as you can see here, Leon came with that attaché cash back, cash back, case backling and the combat knife, which does fit them. Uh, and then Claire Redfield came with that RPG Keys back lane and the Umbrella Parasol Pickaxe. Uh, whereas the previous ones, they came with a lot more stuff than that. Um, but this was okay, obviously in celebration with the Resident Evil 4 remake. Alright, and then next on uh, March 23rd, we had that Fortnite, Fortnite Ladder Fest 2023. Uh, so there were some quests associated with that, and you were able to unlock these items. The best part of these items for me was that wrap. Uh, so you can see there was a spray emoticon, two sprays of emoticon, and that twilight mosaic wrap. You were able to get some quests there. And let me see. Then they re-released, uh, obviously, for the item shop, these characters here. Then there was a contest for Lantography or Lantography. Uh, there was a YJY Locker Bundle, which obviously these locker bundles for the most part don't really stick out to me too much. These creator bundles are not very, they're not great. And then Cypher PK was uh, was re-released uh, for this event. And again, I do recommend getting that. Cypher PK is a pretty decent bundle, and I do like that glider. Glider is really cool. Alright, and then here on March 29th, we had the uh, Battle Royale update for the version 24.10. Uh, it was the Spring Breakout 2023. So there were some more quests here. Uh, let's see. So here were the quest rewards. Uh, so one was a backling. Day 7 was a smash spray, 9 was a loading screen of hot dogs, which I still find kind of curious, nothing really booster about that. And then day 12 was a breakout banner icon. Uh, the back bling was okay, it's a book bag, kind of like with those Easter pastel colors. That's the loading screen. And then when you got, there were some more rewards after. When you completed 12, you got that pickaxe, that Nanderbloom pickaxe, which was pretty decent. And then 22, you got that glider. Now they both look okay. I never really used them, but I'm glad I actually got them because they look with those colors pretty cool. And then there were those eggs that were part of the uh, island there. Uh, peel eggs, top eggs, golden eggs. Uh, so it was kind of an interesting, a, a interesting effects you can get from those. So heal with story of health, hop, gravity effects, and then golden eggs. Uh, you got bars, gold bars, and then of course they have that egg launcher, and then they had a springtime blowout reality augment. Interesting. I don't quite recall that. Which is 
but you can get one from that augment. Okay, you can get the egg launcher from that. That makes sense. And then they had some new augments uh, for the updates. The Rail Warrior, if I use the bit. Gover Rope, uh, pretty disappointed. A lot of people I played did not like that one. Aquatic Warrior, never used it really. Game Time, Pizza Party, and some Chunk Clashes are all decent. And then you got some new characters when you would recruit. These are actually pretty cool. So you got some specialists. The Scout, Heavy, Supply, and Medical. Obviously they all do different stuff there. The Scout was Sniper, Specialty. The Heavy, obviously Explosives. Supply drops on Ammo and Mats. And then the Medical heals with Chug Splashes, so your Health and Shield. So they were, it was pretty cool to have that part uh, with those new specialists. Uh, then they had a UI update for the Collections tab, which I really didn't like when they did the update personally, because they messed up the way it used to work, which I was obviously very comfortable with. Um, okay, and then they had the Super Level Styles, which they introduced. Unfortunately, I didn't really get that far to get those, um, but many of them. I only got a couple. Uh, with the winding down here, but since the season is winding down in only, like, less than two days, I'm doubtful I'm gonna get more. Um, I think I'm at one level, uh, level 150-something. Uh, we'll take a look when I switch over to capture here. Uh, so yeah, you got bonus, obviously, after past, uh, past level 100, you get those different looks, including Kinetic Rush, Neon Citrus, and Mega Wave. And they had some updates uh, for some other things here that I'm not really interested in. And then we had on um, version 24.20, we got the Aaron Yeager uh, outfits that you can unlock. And also the ODM gear and Thunder Spears. Not really a fan much of those, although the ODM gear did make you traverse better. Thunder Spears really kind of, you have to be right on top to be very accurate with those. That explosive. Uh, so the Aaron Yeager outfit was unlockable with the quests, but you have to have the battle pass. Uh, and then they also released Captain Levi or Levy, as well as Mikasa Ackerman, but those were for purchase. Uh, let's see, anything here? Okay, there's that gear, what that looked like there. That was the traversal and the spears. And um, I did like those foot lockers. Those are pretty cool looking, kind of like wood boarded up lockers there. Uh, grapple in the air. Yeah. So obviously, I'll just make sure those characters from Attack of the Titan, hence the Titan targets. So the Thunder Spears are an explosive weapon. They're just rockets, but they're pretty inaccurate. And that's what that locker looked like. A really cool looking locker. I did like that presentation. Uh, then there was a basement with secrets. Uh, and like I said, unlock the Aaron, Aaron Yeager locker in the battle pass, which I was able to do. And, oh, that's right. There were some other things besides you can unlock uh, on your way to unlocking Aaron Yeager. That loading screen, you can see. The spray, back bling, emote, and pickaxe, and the emoticon, wrap, banner icon, and of course the Aaron Yeager outfits. Obviously, you need to have the battle pass for that part, all those parts of it there. And, oh, okay, there was also trials where you can unlock sprays, uh, Courageous Mikasa, and Scowling Levy or Levi. Okay, and then what else do we have? Okay, let me just show you what the outfits look like. Uh, it's Captain Lev Levi there, outfit and backling. And then there's Mikasa, outfit and backling. And Levi, transformational serum backling. And Mikasa, or light backling. And, oh, regiment coats? Uh, okay. Or Regiment Coke Backling, okay, from the shop. Yeah, I didn't really get, I didn't get those outfits, so I wasn't familiar with those. And then they unvaulted the dirt bikes, which I did get a little used to. Didn't use them that much this season, only once in a while. Then there were some balance changes with that uh, Kinetic Blade, which again, wound up being kind of 
a glitch, and they wound up removing it later in the season, which I'm not really a fan of, because I actually did like that blade. And then here on April 11th, uh, the Renegade Runner outfit. All right. Let's see here. Uh, actually, April 15th, 8 p.m. Okay, that's when they actually released the outfits. The news itself was on the 11th there. And that's the Renegade uh, Runner outfits. You know, very pink and black, and a little bit of stripes there on the arms. Uh, I didn't get it, but, you know, for those that did, that did that's what it would include. Uh, okay, there's also a loading screen. The Renegade outfit was fast lane pickaxe and marked in the Renegade for separately. Okay, or via the Renegade Runner bundle, which includes the loading screen. That's what that is there. Then there was a cuff, which I don't participate in since they need some changes. You could have gotten a Moticon, and that's it for that part. Alright, and then here we go. Uh, April 13th, they did make the announcement for Coachella, which I really was looking forward to doing uh, this event. Because Coachella is a really great music festival with a variety of music genres. Um, unfortunately, the Coachella quest wound up being broken for me, and I actually didn't get the stuff I should have gotten on the last week of quests, including that Sky Lobby track. Um, and I don't think that cat guy's there. I just know two of those I did not get off that final week because it glitched out and it reset everyone's to zero or a majority of people to zero. And Epic Games never, I'm not sure if they fixed it, they fixed it way too late that I must have forgot about it. But, uh, I don't even recall when they fixed it, it took way too long if they did. But I just remember it was a negative experience because of that. Um, and then they had some new outfits as well. The island itself is pretty cool that they introduced. It was a creative island, of course. Uh, and then they had some different songs. And yeah, they introduced me to that Porter Robinson um, uh, artist, which was pretty good. Was pretty decent, interesting music there. And then there was a variety of Coachella quests, which I say before. Really disappointed how that was done. Uh, and also there was a separate Discord quest as well, uh, which also was a bit problematic. They really need to find a way to kind of make these a lot more efficient and uniform for these type of quests. Um, so it came with uh, two sprays, an emoticon, and that Sky Lobby track, if you were able to get those. And then there's that Discord quest there. Uh, you need to have this port and to go into that server uh, to get that server bot link and then you have to do a couple of quests for that. That was not that bad part of it, but the whole initiation of this court quest is a bit of a, a bit clunky. Uh, and then when you complete the Discord quest, you got a Coachella Island banner icon and head in the cloud emoticon. That I actually got, so that I remember. And then uh let's see. Take a right to earn in-game reward. Yeah, this is something else I didn't get. You, I don't recall getting. Because you had to register on their website. That was the other issue. You had to register on a website. Uh, and then you had to, like, I guess, take a road trip. Or, okay, so just, I guess, on the bus. And then until April 23rd. And I thought I did that, but it didn't give me it. So, we got another kind of downer on that. Uh, but again, anything separate from, like, in-game, like, uh, quests is a bit problematic. Then there was those Good Vibes 2023 Photography, uh, Icon Radio, anything else here? Okay, yeah, they did, they did introduce a couple of outfits for the Coachella events. Uh, Sunset Alto and Desert Dawn Lyric. And then you can change to see what they look like there with the, uh, outfit and the items, which is kind of cool. I actually like this here. Uh, and then, inspired by the Festival of Desert, okay, Desert Dawn Lyric, okay, and just to show you what that looked like here, clean, and then the reactive, so they're all, they were all reactive to music, by the way, in case you're wondering what that is, and then they did have this rap, uh, which is kind of interesting looking as well, and they did introduce a couple of emotes, uh, Verna Boy, Slide Stride, and Bad Bunny asking emotes. I did get the Bad Bunny one, because I actually liked the sound of that one, that was pretty cool. 
And then just some stuff about the quest content creation, not going too far into that. And then we had the, on April 21st, the, the Playwave Island series. Um, so this was interesting with the variety of artists they had with those creative islands. Uh, so just to, just to kind of recall, they had Cali Yucas, uh, Cali Yucas, uh, Gorilla, Youngblood, Willow, and Muramasa. Uh, available until April 28th. I did stream that. So there were a couple of them were kind of interesting. A couple of them really weren't. Uh, Lost Garden Cali was kind of interesting. Defeat the Trolls was okay, but it was a bit glitchy because I had to do it twice, I believe. Cerebral Cinema, don't recall too much about that. Oh, this uh, Search for Self was interesting where you could go light and dark. You had two pass by Willow. Uh, up and running, I don't really recall that one. But they're all interesting with their own kind of brand there. Now, on April 25th, there was an announcement that Rocket League's Rocket Pass Premium joined the Fortnite crew. So that Fortnite crew is a subscription, uh, just to make you aware. Uh, but I, I do have to mention to you that you do get a decent value, depending on what, uh, if you notice, is released. So you'll get, so just to make you aware, you get a Battle Pass, a thousand V-Bucks, and then the monthly crew pack. Uh, and then, and now it includes the, uh, Rocket Pass Premium for Rocket League. But just to make you aware, if you already have the Battle Pass, they do give you a separate 950 V-Bucks. So, uh, technically you get 1950 V-Bucks and that monthly crew pack. Uh, I do recommend looking into that, depending on the, uh, crew pack that's released. Uh, which we'll get to a little later of a reason why I was interested in it, uh, with the, uh, with that Styx outfit release. Uh, so there's those benefits, which I kind of mentioned earlier. The Battle Pass, or if you already own it, you get the equivalent of 950 V-Bucks, 1,000 V-Bucks every month, a new crew pack, and a premium Rocket League. So this will make you where you don't need to subscribe every month. You can always go uh, once you subscribe, and uh, you can turn off your recurring billing to cancel it if you want to do it that way. And you do get to keep the items and what was earned. Uh, kind of a little fact of what is in that so. all right so moving on here on april 27th so dahlia uh she was the one that was introduced as part of the crew pack now this character to be honest i was not interested in this character uh but just to show you what it included or what it looked like this is what it has here and then there was also like you could get like this pickaxe too uh, there's a separate quest as for that as well. And, oh, you also got a loading screen for this, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so you get the back wing, a pickaxe, and a loading screen for this. Okay. And, okay, just to say, so I was gonna so this was that set, like, once, you may get a set if you get that crew subscription. Uh, but of course, I joined after, so it was only until May 31st. And then uh, you unlock stages of this pickaxe, which is kind of an interesting uh, incentive there. As you can see, you can get the different kind of colors as well. Interesting. Okay. And they make mention what you get, the Battle Pass, the V-Bucks, and that Rocket Pass Premium, and the Crew uh, Pack. And this was actually April's, uh, it looks like. Yeah, April's actually wasn't bad looking. Hmm. I probably didn't see it till too late, or I kind of may have uh, kind of scanned over it, to be honest, because I do go quitty when I do my item shots. Item shots, I wasn't really doing the Fortnite crew, but I will be doing that for, from this point going forward. All right, and then on May 2nd, we had Fortnite Battle Royale version 24.30 update. Find the Force and begin your training. So this was the Star Wars Collaboration. Um, and it was definitely, uh, by many accounts and, uh, reviews, the best collaboration they've had. Uh, they did introduce the, uh, couple of different outfits in there as well as brought back some previous ones. Uh, and then what was cool is they did introduce you being able to pick between, to choose between Obi-Wan, Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, uh, has your Jedi trainer, or Darth Maul has your Sith trainer. And what I noticed is Darth Maul was definitely the trainer to get uh, with with that effect. So that's one thing I did notice 
playing that a bit, and I did play that event a lot, well worth it. And then they introduced the Find the Force quests to unlock cosmetic and level up rewards. Uh, and then you did have two tracks, you had the free reward track, uh, which included the clone trooper outfit, and then there were some other awards as well. But the key was getting this uh, premium reward track, which I will show, which included that Dark Maul outfit, which is probably the best part of the whole quests there. Uh, you also received the Coruscant Guard outfit upon purchase, which is pretty cool. And uh, then you could, then they also introduced Anakin Skywalker and Padma Amidala outfits for purchase in the item shop as well as the 501st Trooper and 212th Battalion Trooper. And like I mentioned earlier, you could choose between those three trainers uh, in hologram form uh, during the Find the Force event to choose your trainer and to get your appropriate lightsaber. And those new Force abilities. Uh, and yeah, with those abilities, you could sprint faster and double trump. Uh, Obi-Wan, you can also learn to push objects and players away. So you got push. With Anakin, you got the pull. Uh, and the best one for me was the, uh, of course, Darth Maul with the throw. Uh, lift objects from the environment and hold them at players. That to me was by far the best of those trainers. And of course, you get the lightsabers here. You get three different colors. Green for the Jedi Padawan here. Uh, from Anakin, you get the blue one, Darth Maul, the red Sith Apprentice lightsaber. What would have been helpful is to have that red Sith Apprentice lightsaber be a pickaxe for Darth Maul. I don't understand why they couldn't have done that with those quests. I think there would have been a lot more incentive to have done that. Uh, then you have those DC-15 blasters, which are pretty overpowered to use, that you would get uh, either from crates or from other, like, stormtroopers. And they were obtainable from Republic chests as well. Uh, and I do like the look of those chests, you can see. And then here was those Find the Force quests to get that galactic reputation. I will say this, it was a long enough event where they did make you play to get that reputation. As you can see, it took you 11,000 to unlock everything. Of course, provided you bought the premium reward trap. And you were able to also level up six times if you were able to get that premium award. If you just got the regular, you get three uh, level ups. So I, I found it well worth it uh, for that premium track, considering that they most likely may re-release that uh, Sith, excuse me, uh, Darth Maul outfit and those other items. But you are going to pay more for it than what you pay for that uh, premium pass there. Uh, for that premium award track, track, I should say. And let's see. And then you had to make sure you, you obviously that tab was highlighted by that icon for that galactic reputation. Uh, so free reward. So it was a level unlockable for the free and another 11 for the premium. So a total of 22. So the clone trap uh, trooper outfit was part of the free reward track. And yeah, that 1,000 V-Bucks was really worth it, I feel, to get uh, those other additional awards, including Darth Maul, the backling, uh, and also their uh, wrap, and like I said, those level ups. And then you got, again, a different out uh, di three other outfits as well. And then a uh, backling, a spray, and emoticon, it looks like. And of course, the pickaxe is also really cool. So well worth the 1,000 V-Bucks, in my humble opinion. Uh, so yeah, these are the uh, the track upgrades here. You get Wolfpack, Ashoka's, uh, and Ashoka's, as well as the Karuskin Scarred outfits along the way. And there's the Dark Maul, and the best of the outfits in my opinion. And also, when you complete, you also have to, I can't forget, of course, the Sith Infiltrated Glider, uh, which was based upon Find the Force quests. Uh, once you completed 12 in a set, you got a, a, a Sith Holocron, and then once you earned all three, you earned this really nice glider with a great Star Wars look and sound. And it was available until May 23rd, uh, and they've released them on different paths there, so the second path was May 7th, and then the third was the 12th, and then they had the, oh excuse me, it was actually a total of four. 
Uh, they also had the first Galactic Empire on May 17th. So they did keep you busy, I will say that. And then there was a separate Discord reward for this, uh, the Karuskin's Pride Wrap. Again, similarly, you had to join that dis a specific Discord channel uh, for to get the Fortnite bot. Uh, and then you had to do... Um, I just completed a Discord quest. There was an option to also, I guess, screen share, which I didn't do that far, but I guess you could. And then here's the items there in the item shop, including uh, Anakin, Padme, Admiral, uh, 501st Trooper and 212th Battalion Trooper. And then also the update, you got a uh, new and returning reality augments, trackers, armory, not a fan, duster reload, not used, steady hands, I think I may have used once, SMG sign off maybe once. Uh, okay, and they also had a uh, auto confirm edits, it looks like, a couple other improvements, changes. Uh, let's see, anything for major bug fixes that stuck out? Fix an issue using ODM gear, which sometimes calls a player a fly, even if no longer using an item. That's a heck of a bug. And then the major bug fix, the infinite dab emote, wasn't looping for 15 hours and performed in a lobby. This is fixed and now loops for 16 hours. What an odd fix, I'll say that much. Alright, moving on. Uh, on May 2nd, they had the Playwave Island series continuing. Uh, so again, this introduced uh, more of some rewards here for this Island series. I do, I do recommend this. I did stream this as well uh, during that time. Now, you were only able to lock, you know, just some some motocon spray and a banner. But I, I you know, considering like the music uh, tie-in, I did think it was worth it here. Uh, so 11 new islands were added, again, different musical genres, so just to show you what those artists, um, so Rilla, Internet Trolls, Basket Truthful Tribe, and then Juice World. I really like Juice Worlds, uh, Quano, Youngblood, Imagine Dragons, Machine Gun Kelly, Willow, which is an interesting one too, Billy Eilish was actually okay as well, B4BD, uh, Puko, Kali Uchis, which to me, I did that before, but I had to do it again to get those new, uh, the new rewards. And then Muramasa. And then, as you can see, the rewards, uh, when you did three total, you got, let's see, two sprays, six total, a spray and an emoticon, nine, a spray and a hot banner icon, and then 12 total, two sprays and a loading screen. And that's a loading screen, which looks kind of okay. And then they introduced uh, the islands here. So that was uh, B4BB, uh, Billy Eilish, Juice World, which I like. Two Juice Worlds, one, I like both of those. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly, featuring uh, Ave, Tribe. I think that one was alright too, actually, the Tribe one. Uh, Caution by Kuko. Oh wait, let's try. Oh, try by Bass featuring J Cole. Yeah, that one is okay. And what else? Uh, Peaceful Nights by Corno. Oh yeah, this one was interesting. This heist one, uh, Sharks by Imagine Dragons. That actually was another memorable one. Uh, Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. Navy by Machine Gun Kelly and Bringing the Horizon. All right, and then moving on here on May 3rd, so they had Captain Hypatia uh, with their level up quest pack. Uh, I did like last scenes. This one I didn't get, um, but obviously if you're you're running out of time to level up, so if you want to consider getting it to make sure you get those last super styles, be my guess, because you do get to uh, 28 levels if you get all of it before the end of the season. So you got to get on that if you're interested. Uh, to get those levels, and you do unlock, again, the outfits, uh, alternate look, backling, wrap, uh, pickaxe, those quests. Unfortunately, I wasn't really that interested in this particular one. Uh, so as you can see, first one, you get the backling, second, sun wrap, third, kind of carver pickaxe, and then the last one was the armored bolt style of Captain Hypatia. So for each individual level of quest, you get one full level. So 28 times is really worth it. 
um, if you're interested. Personally, I wasn't just because the outfits is not that great, so that's why I didn't do it, but to each their own. Uh, on May 5th, the second drop set in Fortnite uh, for the Battle Royale Chapter 2 look. They've had these before with the Chapter 1 look. I'm not really a fan of these. Um, but people like these, you know, but for people that are interested, I mean, and look, you get some different looks, but, I don't know, I think you can get some better outfits, uh, but that's what these look like here, you get, uh, the total of ten it looks like of those second drop outfits, and then this, they're mentioned the styles, and then you also get a backling as well for those, for, uh, looks like, oh, separate? Oh, wow, backling. Okay, so this is separate, eight styles. What's weird is, why do you have ten outfits, but eight backlinks? You'd have ten. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and then they tell you where they're associated with from Chapter 2, so okay. Moving on. Okay, so this was a big uh, controversial one here, where um, May 13th announced Ranked Play, uh, Battle Royale, and Zero Build. So, I haven't done this. Um, there are quests associated with these two uh, to get like different rewards to rank. I've not really looked into them, um, but you do get different tiers. And once you play one match, uh, I guess you unlock what rank you are. Uh, but to me, the big controversial part of this and the big rub and why it turned me off was they removed trios. And their reasoning for removing trios was basically two times, and I kind of call kind of BS on that. I mean, and then they, they brought it back, which is also strange, uh, just last week, and saying, oh, it won't affect it. But what really turns me off is the modes that support rank. Like, I like solo, but I like zero build solo, and that's not even an option. I really think every mode should be ranked and should not be limited to three for a battle royale, much less one duos for zero build. So you do get separate ranks for both, but again, I'm turned off uh, by this execution as well as them removing a mode from the game. So that really turned me off from it. So those at Epic Games uh, that can hear me, get everybody involved for both instead of segmenting and further hindering your player base because it just doesn't make sense uh, in my humble opinion and they also made some changes as well to the ranks with material harvesting rates and then the player drops uh, and there is some things here for in-game reward for playing matches so, you have to complete these uh, ranked urgent quests to unlock seasonal cosmetic awards. The problem is, is like, I'm too far gone where I probably won't get any of this stuff. Uh, but the final cosmetic award is this Burn Bright Emote, which is pretty cool, I must admit. Uh, but I will not be able to capitalize on that most likely. And then there were some balance changes, obviously, with like, this announcements. And you think with major bug fixes? Fixing an issue preventing players from being healed with Slurp Juice after being DDNO. That's kind of interesting. Uh, backlings equipped with the Clone Trooper outfits will no longer appear to pass? Oh. Uh, Clone Trooper outfit head movement will no longer be static. Fixed an issue causing some outfits to appear glossy? Okay. And then, please know the trio's mode will be vaulted, which I think is bad. About the May 16th update, which again, really turn not only myself but a lot of other player base off. That's the reason I've not really been participating in the ranks. Also, there's enough sweat going on as is I don't need any more. Here on May 17th, uh, celebrate Global Accessibility Awareness Day, GAAD 2023 in Fortnite. So I will say this, this was kind of a cool little thing that they announced to announce this uh, Awareness Day. Uh, they had free access core backlink and the good game well played emote. I've actually seen someone use this GGWP emote recently, so kind of surprised people did that. So, yeah, that people are still using that. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, I do like free stuff. Uh, so, you know, anything free, pretty cool. And uh, also, an interesting add is this Marigold. The existing Marigold outfit includes a new Phantom Code Marigold style. 
Meaning everyone who owns this outfit can now select the style in the locker? Oh, that's interesting. I'm not sure what the connection to that, to this GAD award is. I guess it was just a separate mention. I thought that was kind of odd, but okay. And then here on May 23rd, the Spider-Verse uh, collaboration there with the uh, Spider-Verse mu movie. Got Miles Morales and more here, Fortnite. So, uh, let's see. So this introduced uh, web shooters, which are kind of OP if you know how to use them. I'm personally not a fan of the Spider-Verse web shooters, because uh, I feel they kind of run out a bit too quickly. But obviously you do have to kind of time it right. But I do like, it does give you the feeling of web slinging and swinging. Uh, and then they also introduced with that, let's see, the shooters. Yeah, Miles Morales suit, and there's uh, also Spider-Man 2099. So again, Spider-Verse web shooters, what they're called here. And that's the icon, what it looked like, which is kind of cool. And you did need to do this for a uh, week 11 quest, which I was able to do. And you were able to get this uh, Silk and Cologne 8 or EI 8 HT version lobby track. I don't know why they put two things in there, very confusing. Uh, this lobby track features a song from the upcoming Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse film. So that's the collaboration here. And then we have here the Spider-Man Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2099 outfits. So, as you can see, really cool looking. I have to get on this. Make sure you uh, think about getting this soon before the season ends, because most likely they may change it out um, and vault it from the item shop. So as you can see, you get two different looks of the outfit. Well, I should say mask on and mask off. A back bling, that pickaxe, and then the built-in emote. Uh, I hopefully they'll mention those quests where you were able to get this uh, pickaxe and that built-in emo, which was a key thing, because it did reduce the price of that outfit. Uh, and then Spider-Man Miles Morales, the Masked Earth 1610. Okay, yep, the backlink. Yeah, that Spider-Ham's mallet uh, pickaxe, really cool. And I'm really glad they allowed you to get this as a reward, a quest reward. But you did have to register in order to get that, which was another thing. I don't know if people really knew that, but um, I was able to get it and it made it well worth it. Especially when you got the built-in footer there remote combined with it. And then here's the Spider-Man 2099, who's the pickaxe and the cape. And you can watch it dematerialize when you go DBNO, down but not out. Yeah, the, the bundle there, of course, includes the outfits, the back bling, the pickaxe, the emote, as well as the Spider-Man 2099 outfits, back bling, and the pickaxe. And it also includes um, the Mega City Swing loading screen. That's a, that's a real cool loading screen, actually. So that's that collaboration here. Uh, it looks like it doesn't mention the quests, which is kind of interesting. So. This will make you wear separate from the individual quest where you could get that lobby track. There was another quest where you could earn that mallet and the built-in emote. And it wound up reducing the price of that uh, the bundle pretty significantly where it made it very attractive to get. Surprised that I wasn't mentioned in here at all. Very odd. Alright, next here, uh, May 26, Sticks was introduced. Part of the June Fortnite crew pack. And uh, yeah, I have to. I do admit that this uh, character outfits uh, alternate look. The pickaxe did make me get it. In, in addition to the other incentives, as we've mentioned earlier, uh, including the battle pass or the 950 B bucks. In my case, since I own it, the thousand B bucks, the rocket pass premium. In addition to that uh, crew pack. Uh, what I find interesting though is here it was announced on the 26th. Uh, according to this, you could have got both? Oh, I didn't realize that. That's interesting. The way they make it seem, you could have gotten both of these, but I don't think so. I think this was for June. So it's a bit confusing if you don't read into it, but it does say it's um, available until May 31st. So obviously, Sticks wasn't included until June, hence the June Fortnite crew pack. can be confusing by the way they, they phrased it. Um, so yeah, here you go with the Sticks outfit. And again, I also didn't want to forget that back wing. Really cool looking, especially with this... Uh, this kind of look here, uh, that pickaxe which matches that really nice uh, pink 
with the blue on that axe. Uh, so yeah, this was what pushed me to get that pack, to be honest, in addition to those other incentives uh, with the uh, V-Bucks and then the Battle Pass, or in my case, the uh, V-Bucks equivalent of 950. So uh, you also get the Stygian Mall Backling, which I highlighted earlier, and that Stitch Slicer Pickaxe. Again, really cool looking. Just going to save that for future. Look at that for future reference here. And um... Uh, the photo uh, photonic legacy set which i wasn't able to get out of because i got this in june just going over that as well as the other incentives all right and then here on june 1st uh introduced the academy champion set so uh what's interesting is each of these are individually there's no bundle which i find kind of curious but of all these outfits i personally think maybe two are okay i think i think well there's two specifically that i think are probably the best of them uh and and interestingly the way they phrase it the academy champion set includes 10 customizable outfits over 500 million possible combinations between them the way they phrase it is like there should be a bundle for these 10 but there is not so you guys really need to work on your phrasing because they're only available individually. Come on, people at Epic and Epic Games. You guys got to get that together. And there's also this customizable 8 Big Champions Backling, Scholar Slashes Pickaxe, which I think is, I think they're both pretty cool. The Banner Bearer Wrap, a little bit disappointing, but uh, these are all separate. These also should have been bundled as well. Uh, so let me just show you what they look like. So... You can choose between like hair options, upper body, lower body, shoes, uh, eye and hair color, clothes color. Um, and then there's also shading, which is pretty cool. So my highlight for these is going to be this one here and this middle one of these in my personal opinion. Uh, but of these, I'm actually going to say if I could just pick one, it would be this character here on the left. And then there are two academies, Sakura Star and Honor Bounds. And you can put the patches on or remove them. I'd probably remove it on mine. And then this 8-bit Champions back thing, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, that's what it looks like on the back here. And you can customize also the color as well on this. Uh, so it is a pixelated looking there. And then you have color option for even like of the uh, character. I think it's called Chibi. The hair, the eyes, and the clothing, and you can create a look there. And then you can also change not only the color of the backlink itself, but the color of the screen, and then also the new shader options. And it is reactive. It lights up when you get eliminations, heal up, open a chest, or emo. And you can also turn off the reactivity. And then the Scholar Slashers Pickaxe, which is also pretty interesting looking as well. You can also personalize it, color one, color two, and whatever you pick for color two will apply to that pixelated trail when you hit it, which is pretty nice. The banner bearer wrap is what I'm a little disappointed with. It's just the changes based on your banner. They could have did a lot more with this, and they should have been more it should have been more in line with this uh, pickaxe to get that pixelated effect, in my opinion. And then we have the last update here for uh, today here, Fortnite ranked update. So this is new uh for me here too so let's take a look here uh launched only a few weeks ago we saw a large portion of the community jump in and start their ranked journey let's dive in let's see what it says all right so season zero is the beginning okay uh season zero will span until the conclusion of chapter four season three. Oh, okay that's good because i was saying earlier i would not be able to finish so the fact that it's actually going to end next season, I may be able to play some here. Uh, and then the trios and available modes. Uh, we rolled out version 24.40 with the goal of minimizing queue times and maintaining matchmaking quality for all players, not just those jumping into ranked. Uh, uh, to achieve this, we made the decision to remove trios. Big mistake in battle royale and zero build when we launch rank. We soon realized that Trios was a valuable place for the community and we enabled it in non-ranked battle uh, royale and zero build on May 31st Eastern time. Yeah, but that time guys was a little bit late though for the iron fire that was already created and drawn. Uh, feel confident that non-ranked Trios will have minimal impact on queue times and matchmaking quality in the near term. 
We'll be evaluating different team sizes and their viability moving forward as Fortnite continues to evolve. We'll vault and unvault modes to maintain the same high standards of play for our players. Okay, and then queue times. One of our goals to put ma uh, matches to players. Uh, minimizing queue times. Okay, um... Matchmaking parameters. Okay, so they're just kind of explaining the queue times here. Uh, anything else here? Rank reset as part of Season Zero. Plan on resetting everyone's rank? Oh, wow. Before we enter Chapter 4, Season 4. Okay. I was gonna say, if I play, they're gonna already reset it? Okay. Ranked urgent quest completion will not be reset. Yeah, that's pretty important, guys. Uh, update your appearance to your bright will burn bright emotes. Okay, targeting version 25.1 for the reset. Keep you posted. Uh, okay, reaching on real. Okay, that's a rank, I guess. Rank gameplay. Okay, looking at adjustments. And then competitive. So that really is going to do it in terms of the news portion here uh, to speak of. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to like uh, switch over to the capture. And now what we'll do is we'll go to some further detail uh, regarding the battle pass next here. So let's get in here. All right, here we go. So as you can see, the battle pass. Um, uh, let me just go to page one. So just to give you the overview here. So as I mentioned earlier, the best, and I think one of the best of the entire battle pass was this Renzo the Destroyer uh, outfit. I mean, I found this really, really cool. Uh, so I definitely, I thought this was different for them in terms of the battle pass for having something really good early so that people could sport it, uh, you know, sport their outfit uh, from the beginning. And I really think they need to be doing this a lot more going further uh, because the grind to tier 100 is real. Um, and considering once you bought the battle pass, you unlock Renzo, definitely made it well worth it. Uh, obviously the V-Bucks here for the highlight. The loading screen's okay. Uh, the pickaxe is also decent. Yeah, that's a decent too. Then we have the swag shot emote. So what I'm going to do is just take a quick pause here just in case to play these sounds of the emote. So let me just play it again. There you go. So that's for that here. Alrighty. And then for the uh, Destroyer signature, that's also a really cool looking wrap, I do admit there. Animation. Uh, nothing else more really to speak of. Then on page two, uh, that's a nice little loading screen actually, Renzo. The spray's actually pretty cool. And I think this Skulltron, this glider, I think this glider is really nice, especially when I unlock the second style. Of course, another 100 V-Bucks. The Renzo Velocity, it's a contrail. So anytime you get a contrail, it is a W to me in my book. Because uh, you can't really get the contrails. Excuse me. <clears throat> contrails are very rare to get. So that's why I definitely recommend uh, if you can to get that. So, And then, uh, of course, you get an alternate style of Renzo here. Well worth that. All right, and then on page two here, uh, what do we have? Uh, I didn't really find this page so great other than the V-Bucks. I'm personally not a fan of Imani. So let me go over here to the next page. Uh, future Fire Imani here, loading screen. Of course, the V-Bucks. I've seen people actually use this expressionism emote. It's actually okay. It's not terrible. Uh, Future Dreams music, pretty basic, nothing much here, and we have the boom, and Future Five Bonnie, not much here, uh, then we have the thunder loading, anything here for this loading screen, no, just the V-Bucks, I did like this storm cloud glider though, that was really cool, and then the thunder outfit, also recommend that, next page here, of course the V-Bucks, Chef special emotes okay. Uh, Gilla Classic, Thunder Roll, 
The Midnight Snack Thunder is actually pretty cool for that alternate look. Uh, page 7 here. The Ash Gold Blade is really nice. I do like this blade. See how it swings. Pretty decent. Of course, the V-Bucks. Not a fan of the Mystica. Uh, page 8 here. Pony Screen is not bad. Of course, the V-Bucks. Meteor Shower Contrail, I do recommend. I do like that. Horizons Call Wrap, also decent. Ash Gold Blade, second style, pretty cool. Page 9, besides the V-Bucks. Actually, I do like Stray. Stray is nice. I do. I did like the Stray outfit. Page 10. Uh, standing Bow, eh, not much. The two V-Bucks here. Uh, and, of course, the Renegade Stray, not bad. Next page here, we have High Wire. High Wire is okay. Uh, see this music track, Vital? Hmm. Vital is only okay. The Plasma Core Claws are okay. And then, of course, High Wire. Then on page 12 here, uh, Contrail, not great. Of course, the V-Bucks. Pack Leader, High Wire, okay. Page 13, Flood is actually decent for that wrap. Of course, the V-Bucks. Not a fan, really, of River, Empress, Mizuki. And then the last page here, the Wings of the Storm Glider is pretty cool. V-Bucks, and then the arrival of the Empress. All right, and then uh, let me take a quick pause here before we get to the bonus rewards. Uh, hold on here. So the bonus rewards... Okay. Oh, actually, correction. I should go to quest rewards because these quests needed uh, to be completed. But before I do that, let me just do something really quickly. I'm just going to go back to a uh, thing here. Oops. Uh, yeah, let me just go back to my main page just to make sure about something. So just bear with me. Uh... Is this it? Oop, correction. So yeah, just bear with me. I'm gonna go and just do a quick switch here. Um, where are we at? Yeah, let me go back to the news page real quick here. Uh, because I did want to just double check on something before I continued. Uh before something is gone here. Alright. Uh do that. And Ooh. there we go. All right, let me just double check on some so I didn't forget. And then we get this. There we go. Okay, great. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. All right, so let me just uh, get back and get out of this here. All right, let me go back to the battle pass. All right, let me go back to my game catcher here. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything from the news page. And we'll go back to the game capture here. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm going to go to a quest rewards first before the bonus. So quests, obviously, were in and out during the season. Uh, turns what I thought were decent ones were this Wings of the Storm alternate style. Oh, actually, this is the last page. Excuse me. So to go on the first page, this um this loading screen was pretty cool. The alternate destroyers destroyer was decent. This Skulltron glider alternate look I thought was one of the better uh parts of the quest rewards. Uh, again, not a fan of Amani. Then the second page here, sweet shot emotes okay. That's not bad. Oops, I went too far. And then, of course, we have Rumbling Thunder, which I did like for that one. Also, not another highlight. Uh, this Lost Meteor Flyer, that's okay. Oh, I did like this Sky Carver uh, alternate style. And, of course, Stealth Stray look. Really nice looking. So, another highlight. And uh, for the last page here, this Tycho Drumbeat emote, I really, I really dug. And I thought this was probably one of the better... Better uh, emotes, really cool, as you could see there. Great sound. Then the bubblegum high wire style, which is okay. 
Uh, but I will say this. Um, hopefully, they'll, they'll probably continue doing this in next season where you can get some bonus rewards by doing these quests uh, that they give you. Not bad at all. And then on to the uh, bonus rewards here next. As you can see, I'm, I'm not going to make it. I'm only on page 5 of 6. Uh, in terms of what I deem, this loading screen is actually pretty cool. Again, not a fan of Mystica. The Foxfire Edge alternate looks okay. Uh, Empress Fan Dance. I've seen, I've seen people use this Empress Fan Dance emote, actually. But yeah, to me, this Rococo Cloco alternate style for Renzo, to me, was probably one of the ultimate highlights. Because you get the cloak on all the styles you have on. So really cool. Uh... Mizuki's okay, but not really what I was looking for. But this is where you really get the good stuff. So this Kinetic Rush, Rush page, at least I got all these. These all look really nice. Uh, once you get to these super styles like this, they really start looking really good. Even a mon even these other characters that I'm not fans of, it, it, this, this style makes them all look really heck good. Say that much. As you can see here, I'm only on page 5 because I'm at one level, uh, level 154. Um, the push for this is going to be really difficult. Um, the Neon Citrus is okay, but again, what I'm a fan of the most, of course, is this Mega Wave style, which I'm not going to get uh, with only less than two days. But th these styles really look sharp. All right, and then we have the Aaron Jaeger, uh, which was part of like those quests I, I highlighted earlier, uh, just to show you. You were able to get these following rewards. And this loading screen's decent. Uh, that's the spray. That's the basement key back bling. We have the scout regiment salute emote. The titan strike tool. See how this looks. Yeah, it's not a bad tool. To be honest, I haven't used this anything from this set really. The determined Aaron emoticon. The Regiment Gear Wrap. The Regiment Gear Wrap's a bit disappointing, but it does match the style uh, for the Aaron Jaeger. And then finally, the Aaron Jaeger Outfit, which again, looks okay. I'm personally not a fan, uh, but the style is really replicant of the cartoon, so good stuff here. And then finally, we have the Fortnite Crew, uh, which I did make mention earlier, just to show you exactly what I was talking about with sticks. Uh, as you can see, this is like that... Uh, Active style. Let me just show you what it looks like if I can. Well, actually, no, it won't let me look at it like that. Oh, well. Oh, actually, you can. So you go here and then you go to crew pack. So as you can see, sticks, you get two, you get the reactivity. The reactivity really looks good. Of course, it looks like you kind of have a hole in your body, which you do. Uh, and then it'll close, I guess. Uh, it doesn't say how it's reactive, but I'm guessing it's got to be reactive with some sort of eliminations or things along that line. And that, this, what I really like as well is that tool. And this is the way reactivity looks off. And then the Stygian or Stygian Maul backling, also really cool. So you have an option between emissive off or on. But of course, I would keep it on. I mean, look at that. That's really fire. Like I said, this is one, this, this whole set is the reason I got this. And then the Stitch Slicer tool, really cool looking. And you get a real nice effect off the contact as well. Look at that. I mean, that is really nice. So, again, I think this is probably one of the best crew packs I've seen. But, of course, I did miss a couple. Uh, and just to make you aware, it is $11.99. But you do have the option to cancel. So, you don't need to feel tied in. And, again, you get that combined with the Battle Pass or the 950 V-Bucks if you already own it. 1,000 V-Bucks every month. And the Rocket Pass Premium. So again, a lot of incentive. And then like I'm, I showed you as well, there's also this crew, uh, a legacy set, but of course I don't have that here, unfortunately, because uh, I was too late and they don't have one here yet. So that's going to do it in terms of uh, the whole season here for uh, Chapter 4, Season 2 Mega. Uh, so overall, because of the amount of stuff they had and there was a breadth and depth of quests, rewards, outfits, and characters... Um, I probably, in my opinion, I'm going to be, I'm a tough critic, but I'm probably going to give this season, uh, the battle pass itself. Let me see and break it down. The battle pass itself. I think I liked, I think I stated four of the characters that I liked 
And the fact that Renzo was released so early really is going to bump up the grade. Um, so my favorites were Renzo, Thunder, uh, Stray, and Highwire. So those are the ones that I found personally okay. Of course, you get an alternate look for Highwire. So based off the Battle Pass, four out of... What was that seven total? Let me see if I'm right. In terms of the outfits, let me see. Uh, I don't know. I actually correct myself. It's four out of... Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. Actually, it's three out of five. I guess I miscounted. For some reason, I, okay, I, I was thinking by style. I think that's where I misjudged it. So just by characters, Renzo's a character, so that's one. Lizard's a character, excuse me, Thunder's a character, that's two. Okay, so three with Switch Stray. Oh no, High Wire is four. Okay, so actually, if you look at it, it's probably four out of six, because I'm not really a fan of the Empress or uh, Amani. So four out of six is pretty good. Uh, and then, like I stated before, you get a lot. You got a lot of real good, decent items. And then they introduce these. Then they have these bonus rewards. Excuse me, I meant quest rewards, which introduced even more things. So being, even though I'm the tough critic, Aaron Yeager wasn't really a fan of though. Um, but I'm gonna give this a B plus, A minus. So this season for me for what i've been playing i think so far it's probably been the best yet and then you have to also combine the star the star wars as well uh which really did make that collab well worth it so so yeah that's gonna do it so that's gonna be it here for the uh, chapter four season two mega uh news notes quest rewards and battle pass overview overview review rundown went through a lot uh, so yeah, let me know if you were, uh, you know, what you, if you got the battle pass, how did you feel about this season? Uh, and did you add anything to your collection? And let me know how you felt about the quests. And uh, did you or somebody know have a birthday? Shout out comments or questions you can answer any and all by dropping a comment, liking up, thumbs up, uh, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos all without my content to be seen from my YouTube channel, Dirty with Two Irs Gamer. Have those bell notifications turned on. I also live stream on Twitch, take comments, questions, give birthdays and shout outs, which I'm doing here. And please follow me. Uh, also free, enjoy my live streams and chatting gaming sessions at the username dirty with two R's underscore gamer. For super thanks, would appreciate donations via my link. All right, that's going to do it. Later to all answer the chat here on Twitch. Let's keep supporting, networking and growing together. Get your game on and your game dirt here. Please don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe. All is appreciated.